Hello, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Forefront Online Protection for Exchange. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Forefront Online Protection Administration Center, which is the administrative website from which you can manage your FOPI services. First, we must sign in. In your environment, this link would come from an email sent to you when you subscribe to the hosted services. When you access the link for the first time, you will be able to set your password. The first screen we see is the Information tab, which provides an up-to-date view on the status of your organization and provides various alerts and announcements from Microsoft. If you experience any service disruptions or unexpected behavior, you should first check here for any alerts, as they may provide troubleshooting tips. Announcements about service upgrades and changes are also posted here and can offer handy resources for messaging changes to management and end users. The Information tab contains company and network reports about your email filtering service. Notice that I can change the date range for both the company and the network report. Also notice that I can scroll down to see additional reports and information. You can use these two reports to see how traffic in your organization compares to traffic for the services as a whole. Before we move on, notice the quick search button in the upper right corner. This feature allows you to quickly find domains, users, or policy rules without having to navigate through the Admin Center interface. Now let's head to the Administration tab, where we start at the Company sub-tab. Under Company Settings, I can set the default language and time zone for my organization. I can also review my subscription status. Under IP Address Settings, I can create an inbound multi-SMTP profile which will deliver emails to multiple mail servers using round-robin load balancing. I'd add each of my mail servers here, using one line per entry. I can also add their MX priorities, where lower priority numbers indicate a more preferred server. Under Outbound IP Addresses, I can specify the IP addresses from which we will send outbound mail for spam and virus filtering. If you are using the journaling feature in the archive service, the IP address for the server sending the journal messages must be specified. Under Service Settings, I can set the notification address, which is used by the Directory Synchronization tool, to be used as a domain default. Notice the various options under the Task section. These link to other subtabs, which we will cover in more detail later. Below the Task section is the Security section. Under IP Restriction, I can limit the IP addresses that will be allowed to access hosted services, websites, and applications. Restrictions can be set on a company, domain, and individual user level. You have the option of creating password policies for your user accounts. Password policies are created at the company level and apply to all user accounts. Alright, in my next video, we'll continue our tour of the Administration Center, starting with the Domain Subtab.